at the end of the day, what made this to me very successful and in general these very successful, uh, folks walked out of that room uh, with a very different mindset than when they entered. I think the biggest thing with the training is that you learn um, that everybody leads differently. And it doesn't matter, you have to find your own lane and swim in it to be successful. The task is to build uh, a structure that will stand. You have a certain amount of time in each team uh, to, to build a structure out of these materials that really don't have any business being stuck together. There was a lot of, you know, moaning and groaning and I don't want to do it. And then you see the competitive side and the engagement side. Over time and the longer you in the world, you kind of create these biases. And I think that what it helped me do was sort of knock out those biases. I was, my team had a guy who, if you gave him the materials, could build a house to code. Uh, and so I think I deferred to him a lot, but you put this pile of junk in front of him, there's not much he can do with it, and just like the rest of us. So it sort of forced us to clear the plate and, and to look at it in a clean way because none of us really had the mechanism to make this work. It was just a fun exercise to see how we worked together. I love change. I think that to get from here to there, you need to change. Change, collective change, change of large entities, groups like we have here. Facilities management itself, much less the university, is difficult and takes time. It gave me the opportunity to find my voice. It was, um, I don't want to say a safe area, but I found out that I have value as well.